Hey guys, welcome to Sony, welcome back. In today's video, I'm taking a look at the F1. There has been an update, a recent update in June. However, these changes may have actually occurred before I just caught them now. So whether they were changes in, in June 2023 or before, um, this is when, when I saw them. Aerodynamically speaking, there's been a couple of changes that I noticed. I'm going to talk about the first change, and that's turn rates. What I did was I did a basic test, basic sustained turn performance test, and this is no flaps, and I came all the way down to about 180 or 210 or whatever it was. It was fine on the higher end, it's about 14 degrees per second, that's close to the actual, but then as you get slower, it should actually fall down, it should fall down under 12 and then to 10, and over here it kind of stayed a little bit higher than it should, uh, especially with that kind of jump at the end as you can see. Now once we put the flaps down, because you do have combat flaps in the F1, the performance improves a little bit as far as sustained turn, and looking at the performance here, it jumps up way too high. I mean, this we're going about 14 degrees a second at what 230 knots. That's not gonna happen, not with a Gen 3 plane, especially not with flaps down. So, it, that one kind of way overperforms. And if we look at something more close to the actual, you can see that line where it kind of should be. Again, this is a, just a guesstimate of where it should be and where it was before, so can compare it to what it was before. Now, what happened? Why did this change happen? Well, what RGs did, I think, was they they improved the landing performance. The the landing performance in the F1, you had to kind of come in a little bit fast. I think at this weight, which is 50% fuel, uh, two missiles that I tested at, I would probably have to come in about 170, 175. And now it's actually accurate performance. So right now I'm about 160, 155. I got that 10 AOA. You set it that 10 degrees AOA and about 7200, 7300 RPMs should keep you on that glide slope. And you just come down all the way down. I'm adjusting a little bit normal stuff during landing, but it's right there. This is the landing performance that the F1 actually gives you. And as you come down, come in and do a nice landing. But what happened, that lift increase, that kind of had a effect down down the line they kind of broke it on one end while fixing the other end is it worth it i don't think so I, i'd rather have an accurate turn rate compared to uh you know having to land it about 10, 10 knots faster i hope you liked the video i hope you enjoyed it take care and i'll see you guys soon